Here's a simple creative idea that you can use to keep your videos interesting. To do this, we'll take any video clip that we're working with and we'll put it on a layer above our first layer and then we'll find a border or frame. So some cool ideas for this can be just paper textures, anything with a screen like a television or a camera screen or a painting frame or like an intricate painting frame. So let's try this one, it's all fancy. And I'll drag this photo of all these paintings in. Just so I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to hide this layer for the moment, which you can do by clicking this little eyeball icon. And then I'll stretch out my frame to be as long as I need. So in this case, I just wanna pick one of these frames. So I'm gonna to go to the effect controls panel and I'll scale up on this and I'll adjust the X and Y position to be more appropriate to center and fill in our video frame. And now I can unhide the other layer and we can begin just by scaling it down. So I'm gonna highlight it, go to the effect controls panel again and this time scale down on this layer. And since this video clip and this frame are both rectangular, we get a pretty close match right away, but it's all probably never gonna be perfect uh, the same size. So another thing you can do is highlight the motion tab and just keep your move tool active. And this allows you to just move things around with your mouse instead of having to use the sliders, which can be useful. And you can also position in this way. So in this case, one way I can deal with the size difference is I'll make it big enough to fit to the top and bottom, and then I'll just crop out the extra on the sides. So I can do this in two ways. I can use the mask tool to mask out this shape, and this can be useful for things that are not a perfect rectangle as well. So if there's some circular frame or mirror that you wanna do, you can do it with this mask tool. And this is also great because it allows you the option to feather the mask a little bit or expand the mask out or in. So this can be useful. Alternatively, you can also use the crop effect in the effects panel. So if I go to the crop effect and drag that onto this clip, I can crop in the left or right side or top and bottom. And I can also feather in this way. So you can mix between both tools and just adjust the position and the scale until you get it just how you want. Another tip is if you highlight like the motion or position tab and are working in the program window, you can also use your up and down arrow keys to shift just up and down one pixel or hold shift up and down will go 10 pixels at a time. So sometimes you do need to fine tune things and you can also zoom into your program window if you wanna really make sure you're getting on that edge. So really the technique of this is quite simple. It's more so the idea of it that I'm sharing with you and you can use it with many different examples like so, it's all the same technique. The only different one is this paper texture. This isn't really a border of any kind. It's just a cool way to put in a, a video clip. Uh, this is useful for times where let's say you have a lower resolution like webcam quality or, or different, just smaller shots, or you wanna put multiple video clips in on the, on the same frame together in an interesting way and not just have a black background. You can do it in this way or just like a cool creative look for a music video or something. Uh, the only difference I've done here is I've added a little shadow. So that's just the drop shadow effect in the effects panel. That's in the perspective folder. And I've just chosen a, a yellow shadow color. You can make it whatever color you want. And I've just increased the distance and lowered the softness of it. So that's just like a sort of stylistic border I've created using Drop Shadow. But my name's Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this idea, you can check out hundreds of more ideas and tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.